to do. They used to have like a slice of cheese uh -huh. or a slice of ham on top of the beer to cover it. Dig in. Come on, let's go. Fredo, pass it down, please. This is a croquette. And actually, croquette comes from the French. Croquet, to crunch. Oh, my okay. gosh. Can we forget the French? Just for two minutes and just enjoy the tapas. You're saying that because you Scottish people don't have anything similar to this, is it? What is it? Deep fried as well. <laughs> no. How delicious is this food? I love the idea of eating like this, though, because you can try so many different things. It, it's the humbleness of ingredients. It's three, four ingredients. That is it. It's not overworked. You it's know so what? Cool. A tapas is perfect for a date. When is the last time you dated, man? 1962. Huh? When you went out with Tana, what did you do? <laughs> we went to the Caprice. That fish and chips. Really? What? You had fish and chips? You took a first date on a fish and chips? What's wrong with you? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Welcome to my place. Um, thank you so much. Juanjo Perles Lopez was a chef de party at my tapas inspired restaurant, Maze, in London. First of all, this yeah. is delicious. The tapas is incredible. I've got a question to ask you. Sure. I mean, you were working with Gordon. Is it why you came back to Spain? Yeah, well, <laughs> that's a good question, actually. So it was a bad yeah. experience. Sometimes. <laughs> How often was in the kitchen? Oh my! Look at me! Don't look at him. When you answer, you, you know the you truth, need to baby. answer to me. Well, what? even once a month, I don't know, but uh... <laughs> once a month. But you know, you can feel his vibes. We all were terrified that Gordon came at a point, you know, and yell at us. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Juan Ho has invited us to help run his lunch service. Gina might be laughing now, but compared to me, the man can't boil water. Time to remind him what being in a kitchen with a master is like. No, you don't need a bandana. Yes, I do, because no. that, that I'm ready for a fight. I've arranged for a little light-hearted cook-off. Nothing serious, just our reputations on the line. Like Gino, it's very simple. Whoever sells the most tapas wins. Shake, shake. I'm going to do beautiful pan con tomate. You can dig a little bit deeper. Now, one thing that I like to do when I toast my bread, I rub it with olive oil and then I put salt. It creates a beautiful crust around. Job done. The Karate Kid is playing it safe with a glorified bruschetta, otherwise known as tomatoes on toast. Huge tuna. Look at that. I'm going to go down a little tortilla root with some leftover potatoes. Caramelized onion, eggs. Why did you not make a big one? If you get something individually, then you feel like it's been made for you rather than a slice of something that's been made for 15 people. As a step up from Gino's lazy effort, I'm creating something proper, my own version of a Spanish tortilla, topped with sour cream and served with local caviar. It's an elevated classic guaranteed to impress. Look at that.